Hello, it's Megan Colors, and today I'm going to be doing a flip through of Mythographic Color and Discover Animals by Joseph Cadenbang, I believe is how you say his name. <clears throat> I got this at Walmart for $13.99, but I'm going to give you the link in the description to Amazon. Uh, it, it's like, I think, $11 on there, a little bit cheaper. I passed it in Walmart and I couldn't resist, even though I should have. <laughs> So there's the opening page, a lot of design. I, I flipped through this book once before, right after I got it. Uh, something I noticed, for one, they're single-sided, not double-sided, pretty thick paper. So you can use multiple different kinds of media on here. You don't have to worry about your ink going through and ruining the picture on the other side. Another reason I love this is that you can um, color it and then cut it out and give it to a friend because I have a lot of friends that request I give them pictures which kind of isn't fun when there's a picture on the other side that you want to keep for yourself so you don't have to worry about that with this book oh and it's perforated I just noticed that so another plus right there for being able to give it to your friends I guess I'm not the only one that likes to take them out his artwork reminds me a lot of Kirby Roseanne, if you're familiar with his work. It's very detailed, and there's so much hidden treasures inside the pictures for you to find. I think another great thing about this book is it's going to give you a chance to color different things. Like, for example, there's a Rubik's Cube. That's great practice for your shading and your coloring and using your different media and seeing how it works. There's popcorn. I also noticed there's a theme to each of the pages. So this is an elephant, makes you think circus. There's popcorn, the drum, a peanut. Wolves, forest. Uh, you'll see, looks like we got an ax and a puzzle piece. It, it's very unique, all the things. I'm not gonna point it all out because I want you to have fun getting this book and finding it all yourself. I think this is a fantastic book both for beginner and intermediate colorist because it provides a lot of practice for shading and coloring different objects besides just one thing. This one's neat. You've got the stripes jumping off of the tiger and it's kind of got an Asian theme to it. You've got the hat and the chopsticks and sushi and the little lamp and a sword. That's probably going to be the first one I'm going to color because I love Asian stuff. <clears throat> this has a gladiator theme. Gladiator theme. You've got the, um, well kind of, you have a Roman hat right here. So, uh, helmet. Helm. That's unique. It's like a water horse. It's going to be a difficult one to color. This is a pretty big book, so I'm going to flip through these relatively quickly. I just want to give you a glance into the book. It's so big that if you see it at the store, you're going to want to buy it. But it's so big, you're not going to probably have time to stand there in the store and look through every picture. So now you can just watch this and make your decision on whether you want to get it and add it to your collection or not. This is going to be the second picture I color after the tiger. I love whales. This guy at the ocean theme. You got an anchor. You can kind of see what I'm talking about. Each page has a, a hidden theme almost into it. There's a great picture for a friend that's expecting. And this is all pretty much baby themed. You've got lollipops and little toys and stuffed animals. And obviously the baby, I would color this and frame it for someone that was expecting. And I also have a friend that loves bats, so that would be for her. I personally, all these pictures are framed. They have a border on them. I personally like that because it limits your background. It's sometimes daunting when you're trying to do a background design and you're trying to get it onto the edges of the page. That can be frustrating, at least for me. You don't have to worry about that with this because it's all framed in. If you're familiar with Kirby Roseanne's work, you know what I'm talking about. It's 
got a lot of his style almost. I'm not sure which one came first. I think Kirby Roseanne's did, unless um, this author might have a previous coloring book that I'm not aware of. You can put that in the comments. I have been coloring for about two years, so I'm not up to date on this as some of my colorist friends. An upside down dragon. That's, that's interesting. You've got a little bit of everything in here. You've got every animal you can think of and tons of extra stuff in, in the detail. There's a peacock. Theatrical. This theme, this theme here looks theatrical. It has got a mask and the mirrors. Got some jewelry. Again, with the stripes jumping off, I really love his style. I think this is going to be one of my top five favorite coloring books right here. And then we're at the end of the book, and it shows all of a glossary of all the hidden objects that were in the pictures. I am going to brush through this quickly. Uh, you probably will want to find these yourself. So this is just a glossary. I highly recommend this book for beginners, intermediates, and professional colorists. I think this is definitely one of my top favorite books I've got. I would give it five stars. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Please like and subscribe as I am a new colorist on YouTube. I'm trying to get my channel going. And thank you for watching Making Colors.